Chadwick, where's the headmaster? Still talking to the prefect, I think. It's hard to tell. It's very smoky in there. But they're still smoking. He's talking to them while they're smoking illegal substances. Is he completely out of his mind? At the moment he inhales. <laughs> <laughs> you on first? Yes, yes, yes. Listen, Janet. Just this once, I need your assistance. Just this one time, I need you not to undermine my personal confidence. Now, tell me honestly, at this current juncture, am I giving any indication that I'm profoundly, acutely, derangingly terrified? Only to someone with a sense of smell. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Schwatt, we're ready for you now. Right, yes, fine, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't me. <laughs> I'm sorry. That wasn't me, you know. Breaking wind. <laughs> Just my wife making silly noises. Oh, right, yes. Wives, eh? <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> yes, well, uh, quite. You can't smell anything, can you? <laughs> I mean, that's the proof. Go on, have a sniff. <laughs> Not at me specifically. That would look awful if anyone caught us. But the point is, you can't smell anything, right? Won't you step inside? Obviously, I'm not saying you can't smell anything at all. I'm sure you've got all your faculties. Oh, my God, you're blind. <laughs> yes, I was rather under that impression. That's fine. Don't worry. I love blind people. One of my best friends was born blind in an accident. <laughs> Sorry about that crack about having all your faculties. I was really just talking about my farting. <laughs> a lot or anything probably just nine or ten times a week and strictly on my own or with my wife thank you for sharing that with us mr slat can you sit down of course right now oh, what about this interview i think i should be all right if i clench a bit and there are no sudden noises your internal gastric arrangements are really not our concern at this moment sorry 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 no problem here I am. Big interview, and I can't stop talking about my bottom. <laughs> well, that's not what you came here to see. But not that you could actually see it. <laughs> but you could feel it if you wanted to. <laughs> Please, understand, I know you will not give me this job because I let you feel my bottom. <laughs> Please, God, take me now. <laughs> Mr. Slat, you're obviously extremely nervous. Now, that's quite common at interviews. So why don't you just relax, collect yourself, and we'll just crack on and put all this nonsense firmly behind us. Ah, does that sound all right? Yes. Yes, it sounds uh, great. Think you're going to be okay? Yes. Yes, actually. I think I'm going to be perfectly all right. Oh, do you think so, sunshine? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to your worst day. What's wrong now, Mr. Slat? So, not scratching your nose or anything, are you? Perhaps we could start by covering some of your early career. One or two things we'd like to know about that. You do it all the time. Such a revolting habit. Yes, fine. Go ahead. And then you start sort of picking it. Uh, I mean, you what's the problem? Is it permanently itchy or something? I was a junior physics teacher. That is right, isn't it? Yes, indeed. I mean, scratch, so scratch, scratch. You just never How stop, do you? Do Oh, a bit set in his ways, but uh, good man, nice chap, liked him. <laughs> and then, of course, there's your crotch. <laughs> you can never resist a good dig around in there, can you? It must just be each, each, each. Is it like there are lots of tiny insects crawling around in your underpants? Are you all right? Sorry, just a bit hot. Hot? I'll say. Burning more like fire down below. <laughs> Sorry. I thought that was my mouth. <laughs> and where are you talking from now, Mr. Scott? <laughs> Sorry, I uh, just need to pop out, not feeling very well. <laughs> What on earth is going on? 
you, what are you doing to me? You've destroyed me in there. What are you doing to Mr. Humboldt? I don't think blackmailing someone on the basis of their sexuality is exactly pleasant, do you? He wants to be in charge of school discipline, for God's sake. I cannot believe you. Believe what you like. I'm going back into that room and I'm going to explain what's happening here. I'm going to turn this around, Miss Travis. <coughs> Mr. Slatt? Yes, hello again. Oh, the other two have just popped next door to look through some of your files. You feeling better? Yes, I am actually. In fact, on that Who subject... are you talking to out there? Oh, nobody, nobody. No, you were definitely talking to someone. Very good hearing, you know. Compensation. Yes, yes, right. I was just talking to the headmaster who's waiting out there for his interview. Oh, could you ask him to step in here for a moment? You don't mind, do you? Your interview had ground to a bit of a halt. Oh, he's just gone, actually. No, he hasn't. I'd have heard. No, nope, he's definitely gone. I think he's just popped down to the prefect's common room to help out with the smoke experiment. No, no, I'd have heard him go. I'm particularly good on footsteps. <laughs> oh, look, there he is behind that pot plant. Hello, Mr. Nixon. Hello, Mr. Slat. <laughs> Stepping in for a word. No, not at all. And could you leave us for a moment, Mr. Slat? Of course. That wasn't the head. It was Slat. Mr. Nixon, do you know the reason we're interviewing two people from this school? No. In fact, I don't. Because we're so impressed by your school's extraordinary commitment to music. Do you realize you have more children taking music at this school than anywhere else in the country? <laughs> is organizing a European tour for your orchestra next year. <laughs> I'm already arranging a ton of press coverage for that. But I think I know who's really behind all this. My old friend Robin Bonza. A human dynamo. Such an enthusiast. You know, I'd really appreciate a chat with Robin while I'm here. Well, I'm sure I could arrange that. In fact, I'll go and arrange it right now. Gentlemen, this is Richard Nixon, who we'll be interviewing later. Hello. <laughs> Mr. Slat. Yes, I do look a bit like him, don't I? But I'll just pop and find your friend. Uh, Janet, would you bring that blind one to the music department? <laughs> I'll go on ahead and make sure it's safe. I, I'll get Eric Slat to sort this out. He's so much better at this sort of thing than me. <laughs> but that was Eric Slat, surely. Certainly smelt like him. <laughs> Bonza, where the hell is he? Well, if you remember, you gave me his classes this morning. He's absent. My one shot at not being a complete lunatic in front of the three people deciding my entire professional future and the bastards of sick. Oh, dear God! In fact, he's not absent. What? He's not absent as such. Right, great. Marvellous. Get him. No, please, just listen for just once. Oh, there you are. How nice to see you again. Janet, go away. Why must you be so rude to your wife? You wouldn't understand. You're blind. <laughs> <laughs> I sent for Robin, in fact, who'll be along in just a moment. Excuse me a moment. Tiny little problem. <laughs> Mr. Slack? Um, um, I should warn that Robin has a bit of a cold, so the voice might not be quite as you remember. Oh, I think that's Robin now. So long as she's still the same lovely girl I used to go out with. Hello, darling. <laughs> well, then, how are you? I'm fine, dear. How are you? Mr. Slat says you have a cold. Your voice sounds exactly the same as ever. <laughs> You're so sweet. Well, I must be going. <laughs> Don't be silly. We've so much to catch up on. Uh, Mr. Slat, would you mind giving us a moment? Why? Please, Mr. Slat, it's been a long time. Well, what exactly are you intending to do? There are laws in this country, you know. Well, 
<laughs> We're not going to do anything illegal, I can assure you of that. Now, please, allow us a moment. Well, all right, but you know, just stay in control. Just don't get carried away. <laughs> Well, my darling, alone at last. Yes, but I feel so strange. You know, I was surprised to hear you were working in this place. That morning you left, you seemed so determined not to take the job. You said you were going to leave the country. A girl can change her mind. It's her prerogative. Have you changed your mind about me? No, you're horrid. <laughs> I see. So... How are the interviews going? Is Eric Slat as wonderful as I've always had? Personally, I thought he was a raving lunatic. <laughs> Why, do you think he should get the job? Oh, so much. So much. He deserves it, you know. Well, it's up to me, really. I tell you what. Give me a big kiss. One like the old days, and I'll make sure he's the one we choose. <laughs> If I kiss you, you'll give Eric the job. Why not? What the hell? You're worth screwing a few thousand kids' education for. <laughs> Just one kiss? One proper kiss. And Eric's a headmaster. And he gets what he deserves. This school he'd be going to, he's got a brand new science wing, hasn't it? Yeah. And practically no art department? Just one part-time teacher. Why do you ask? Just getting myself in the mood. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> Gentlemen, this is my old girlfriend, Robin Bonzo. <laughs> Hello. Not it's Eric Slat. <laughs> what? Just as it was upstairs when he told you that he was the headmaster. Good God, what's going on here? Right. Well, listen, obviously you're entitled to an explanation, and fortunately I can give you Mr. Slat, I think it's time I admitted in front of the entire school the true nature of my sexuality. No, no not now. Well done, Mr. Humboldt. I'm proud of you. I am sick of being blackmailed for what I am. I think it's unfair that I'm barred from being in charge of school discipline simply because of my sexual orientation. I am well over the age of consent, and it is no one's business but my own that I happen to be a practicing sadomasochist. <laughs> As I explained when I attempted to take the school trip on the Rubber Pride March. <laughs> it is a perfectly valid expression of your libido to want to bind, whip and humiliate other people. No, in this place. I quite agree. Have we completely lost our minds, fellow teachers? Children, I forbid you to take any notice of that. <laughs> there are children here? No! <laughs> that man sounds to be in terrible pain. Is he all right? No, I'm fine. She didn't hit me that hard. It's just my nipple clamps. <laughs> right, I'm going to find Nick's. Apart from the fact he's the only candidate left for this job, presumably he's in charge of this madhouse. Gentlemen, I'm sorry I've been delayed. I've just been having a bit of a chat with the prefects. Sometimes all these rave culture kids need is a jolly good chat. Uh, Mr. Nixon, I cannot believe that a man with a record as long and distinguished as your own could be fully aware of some of the things that are going on in this school. Hey, guy. So, uh, when would I be likely to hear about the job?